everybody, Twin Barrel J here, and welcome to Twin Plays Total War Warhammer. Total War Warhammer. Total Warhammer. There. Licensing schmicensing. That's what it's called. We all know that's what it should be called. So that's what I'm calling it. Um, this is obviously, most of you probably already know already if you're watching this, the latest version of Total War, which takes a departure from its historical roots to the fantasy realms of Warhammer. Um, now, I did used to be quite big into Games Workshop, but not Warhammer. I was big into the Lord of the Rings miniatures game when I was a bit younger, for four or five years. So I'm not hugely clued up on Warhammer or Warhammer 40k. Um, never really got into it, but I can see why this is a match made in heaven. Just the range and the differences that it brings compared to the historical backgrounds we've seen before really allow for new game mechanics, very different races and a whole new challenge and style. But if you're watching this, as I've said already, I'm sure you're well aware of what this game's all about. So we're just going to get straight into it. Um, I have a personal campaign playing as the dwarves. About 50-60 turns into it. For this playthrough, I'm going to go for the vampire counts. Main reason for that is I haven't played as them online. I haven't played against them much. And I haven't encountered them in my Dwarven campaign just yet. So this will be a whole new journey that you'll be able to take with me into discovering the vampire counts as a race, their unique differences, play styles, and challenges I encounter. So we're going to play with our faction leader just to get that little introduction. Um, we get a campaign movement range bonus of plus 5% and an upkeep of minus 10 for the Grave Guard and Black Knight units. I presume they're probably elite units, maybe. Additional starting units of the Vargolf, Felbats and Crypt Ghouls. Cool. Um, now I said I'm a veteran of the Total War series. That veteran scene doesn't necessarily um, translate into skill on the battlefield. So, I found from my other campaign, Hard was a very good challenge. Um, this game seems to be have a lot more unique challenges compared to the historicals, which I've become used to. So, hopefully Hard will give me a nice challenge whilst not being impossible to allow this series to play out. So, without further ado, let's get underway. War is eternal. As inevitable as the grave. The old world, the rotting corpse within. Some fools think it worth saving. But there are beings who wish to bring about an eternal night. I am the bearer of law to those with such power. Manfred has returned from the dead once more. He marches on the von Karstein ancestral pile of Castle Dragonhof. For I have brought him ill news that a master necromancer has claimed the fortress as his own. Manfred must retake his ancient stronghold and either destroy the usurper within or bind him to his will. Evil witch, calm the heads from my fortress and kneel before. 
before thy lure. Dracanoth stones are bound by water of my own blood, while yours shall be sprayed across the battlefield as I wrench the head from thy shoulders. Your forces begin their attack, my lord. See for yourself. Wow, this. <laughs> This more than any other Total War game, I feel myself getting lost like I'm watching a movie. And in these little introduction battles, when you're the faction leader, it is kind of like that because you, you start off with everything attacking on its own. Yeah, 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 I know. So we're going to move forward with our single unit. Oh, so the vampires have skeletons, it would seem. Oh, I love the way they <laughs> all move in a sort of jaunty style. They've got these, what are these, crypt horrors. Huge giants. Spikes and bones. Evil bats. And it's being defended by skeletons. Okay, so I guess we're just getting introduced, giving a bit of backstory. There's a bit of a a bat civil war going on here. I have no idea what's going on there. A lot of fluttering. A lot of hot air. Oh dear. I've not even five minutes into the let's play and I'm making jokes like that this is going well um, <laughs> so the trolls are or the crypt horrors should I say are breaking down the gates our soldiers are at the walls so I guess we're just kind of waiting for, so we only have the single unit and him we just Oh, that's probably where we were meant to go. Um, okay. Let's, um, they seem to have sallied out, so let's... All I was doing was um, drawing them into a full sense of security there, um, just to make the flanking manoeuvre even more effective, <laughs> of course. Get a bit of action going on. Whoa, what the mother of Jesus is that? Whoa. Hey, can you stay still? I'm trying to identify you, sir. Vargolf. Okay. Right. Our flanking maneuver is perfectly timed after half our army has been destroyed. <laughs> We're sending in Manfred von Karstein. Take on the skeletons. What? He's just turned his back on them. What are you doing? So there we go, sir. Get in there. Grave guard. Should have the advantage, I'd imagine, on these pesky little skeletons. We got uh, the crypt horrors coming in. Yeah, I don't really want control of the army that I've just literally killed through my own stupidity, but, um, okay. Oh, the gates are open, so let's send them in, along with Manfred. Manfred kind of sounds like a, like a... A foot foot butler or something. What's, what do they call them? Foot a foot butler. Is that what they're called? I don't know. A butler. Let's leave it at that. Manfred, would you fetch the brogues and meet me outside with the rails? I wish to go to see the racing at Ascot. And sack the blood of the posh people. Um, oh, this looks like this is where the fight's happening. What's going on? 
spells. Okay. I literally couldn't care what my soldiers are doing at the moment. I just want to enjoy what a spectacle this is. Look at all these beasts having it out. Oh, it's a gorgeous sight. It's feeding time, boys. Do be careful of the houses now. them but I feel like we should just get on with it really they're doing the job of capturing what are these can raves scythe infantry awesome So pushing forward now to the heart of the city. Oh, we have control of a Vargolf as well. That's how you pronounce it, Varg. Vargolf. Vargolf. Sounds good. Does he? Well, we will strike him down for his treachery. That's some stuff you got there, sir. Overcompensating for something? I would hazard a guess at yes. Another spell, maybe? There we go. There we go. I haven't quite got the hang of casting yet. See, he's just got a perfectly normal staff, not compensating for anything. Because he has a huge dick. That's what I'm saying there. That's definitely what I meant. Um, I think you're outnumbered, fella. Your days are probably done. In come the Crypt Horrors. City is ours. Let's drink blood till the sun goes up, down, up, down, then up. It's clearly what I meant there. These heroes are so superhuman. Well, obviously, they have no magic, they're superhuman, but... And they're being fought by nothing human, so... Yes, they are superhuman. That didn't really work. Um, but, I mean, the amount of damage they can take... Is just crazy. I can imagine they can be a real force to be reckoned with... If used correctly, later on in the campaign. Hurrah! Boiled blood on the house. I thank you for your offer of immortality, Sandy. But I shall forego the blood kiss for now. I'm more useful to you alive, for there is much to be done. The blood kiss. Is that what he calls it? Tempelhof interloper has fled back to his fortress, and Krakenhof is secure. But enemies abound on all sides. See for yourself. Okay, so he's retreated to and the castle. Has 
defeated the castle temple of I know, I'm, that's what I just told everybody. <sighs> Use your ears. Will take some effort to wrench him out. Okay. <laughs> swatch, 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 half and passage to the west is blocked by the dark lords of Bartshafen, sir. Swartz half and feuded with Van Brugger in the what I said. But no doubt watch your struggle against him keenly. We can imagine. Ah, the dwarves. The dwarves control the mountain passes to the south. They are no friends of your kind, and will strike out at you if allowed. Okay. Van Kruger is nothing more than a feeble lich, a necromancer that needs bringing to heel. You must advance against Templehof, seize his positions, and turn the dead against their former master. Then I hunt for the shadow. Excellent. The enemies prize your movements. The necromancer will no doubt be planning counter maneuvers of his own. Your forces are depleted by battle, sire. Yet such a short. I don't know if I found it yet, but there really should be an option in this game to get rid of all this crap. I know they're trying to create a more thematic story and a more concentrated experience and teach new players that maybe have become interested in the game thanks to Total War. Uh, thanks to the Warhammer license that maybe didn't play the historical games. They want to guide people through it. But I feel like the previous games, the, the little like prologue campaigns they did, is a much better way of doing it. So I find myself getting annoyed already that rather than looking at everything and working out how everything works, it's constantly just trying to tell you what to do. See now it's like you must do this, but it's a sandbox, so I, I don't necessarily want to. I, see I can't even build, that's what I don't... <laughs> anyway. Let's just get it over and done with, and then we can get the campaign started. Um, oh, we're recruiting on me. Um, okay, some skeletons. And some zombies. Okay. Great. Provide more room for the dead to rest. And you will gain more souls to resurrect. See that the necessary expansion is made. Excellent. But what if I wanted to spend my money on other things? That's what I don't. Anyway, let's stop complaining. Seek ways to further even your vast knowledge of the dark arts. Put your most devious minions to work on improving your methods of war. I shall do, sir. Okay, so we've got the Book of Arkham. Oh, oh, I'm. I really do apologise in advance for any. I'm not going to try and get them right now every time. I'm just going to say it. Book of Arkham and Libra Necromimica. There we go. Um, so this is a sort of military. Is that military? Oh, so it's actually four mini trees. Okay, this is completely different from the dwarves. Um, growth, yeah, I feel that we're going to need to build. Having only one castle to start off with. My lord, there is nothing more you can do now. Let us await your enemy. Okay. And right on cue. Forth comes Van Kruger. Yada 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 yada. Okay, so we have a few more options this time. We've got a great income. So, currency is effectively called dark magic, obviously then, for the, vi for the vampires. Um, what are we missing then? So, 
Public order is good. Uh, and it's not due to the military presence, so. What options have we got? Income, public order, growth, corruption, income. Some deadly beasts of war. Yeah, I think we're going to want a bit more variety in our army than skeletons and zombies. I've got a feeling they're not pretty. No, they're not strong whatsoever. So, we're going to do what it wants to do for the moment and attack. What happened to your nose, fella? You look like a cabaret version of Voldemort <laughs> right there. Okay, so we're into the battle. This is a new mechanic I haven't seen before. So the winds of magic are effectively how much you can use your spells of your main characters or your mages. He only has one ability. So I don't really see 18 out of 30. There's no real point in gambling, so let's just be given what we've got. Our oh, spirit leech. It's like a damage spell. So we've got our skeleton. Let's do what I normally do, just get them all out of the way. Armies over here, they are comprised of some dire wolves, some zombies, more zombies, skeleton warriors, more zombies, and Mr. No Nosy Voldemorty Man, Dietra the Stickler. Okay. It's not going to be a t particularly tough fight then. Uh, skeletons, we're going to put in the main group. Zombies we're going to use as whoa, a lot of zombies in these units. We can use them as kind of a barrier against skeleton warriors to take up miss. There's no missiles, but anyway, would be missile fire. These crypt ghouls, what are they? Crudgel infantry, good binding. Don't know what that means. We can use them as a flanking unit. Felbats. And our single Valdorf's going to make a beeline for the right flank to try and get around the back. And we're going to put Manfred bang in the middle of the army. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to advance them. They seem to be moving a little bit off the hill. Stomping about. It seems like he's exerting quite a bit more energy than he needs to there. I feel that he doesn't have to lift his arms so quite so high. But then you don't really make complaints from a man whose rib gauge is showing. Or a man that in fact a beast. Let's get a first look at our units, shall we? So we have our fell bats, our skeleton war. Oh, I love how they move! Look at that. It's all in sync. <laughs> it's so comical yet so menacing. I love it. And the wandering mindless zombies with samurai swords. Wonderful. Then we've got where was these crypt ghouls then? Not exactly that ghouls. They look like the cripple out three hundred. <laughs> the hunchback. And then of course Manfred. I don't they don't seem to have any range units. So I'm gonna bravely send in the bats. Just 
just to do a little bit of damage to start off with. And we're going to advance right up there. Oh, what are these on the oh, dire wolves? It's just harassing away there. Keep them a little bit distracted. They can move back now. It's also prompts them in to advancing. Uh, skeletons. They are preferably defensive forces, so quickly just get back into formation. Now that we seem to have woken them up, oh, our Vargoff is in a little bit of trouble. We're going to sail Manf sail. We're going to sail Manfred over the grass <laughs> to help out with the dire wolves. It's a bit of a tame battle right there. And now they're advancing. It's going straight into our crypt ghouls. Zombies have taken the initial brunt of the attack. Now allows us. So we're going to send. Them. I feel those two should be able to deal with it. We're going to bring these skeletons around the back. Who's winning here? We're losing decisively. Great. Yeah, well, that'll hold them up for a little bit. Use Spirit Leech, whatever that does. And Master of the Black Arts. What does that actually do? I didn't actually read that. Power recharge and create power reserves. No idea. Skeletons I've completely forgotten. As I said, I am a master of this game. As you can see. We're going to bring these back into the fray. He's just about holding their own. We're probably going to lose a unit, but just keeps him out of the fray. While this fight goes forward. And charge them into the back. Bring the Varg off around. Bring Manford around to help support. We're going to crash the Vargoth straight in. Oh! He's an angry boy today. Manford will try and bring in this little gap here. As you know, we're going to bring him in for a one on one. With DT, DT, DT. I don't know what these zombies are doing. Get back in there. Let's get rid of that. I don't seem to be smelling a bit. I just had selected there. Crumbling damage <laughs> sustained. Okay. the fight of ages between Manfred and Dietia. Manfred has the clear advantage. Having been much less... Oh dear. There he goes. Down on his arse. How are you doing down there, fella? Not too well. Okay, pretty respectable. First battle wasn't much of a challenge, but uh, didn't lose too many. And victory is ours. 
We gained replenishment, leadership, or some monies, or dark magic, no inverted commas. Uh, we're going to murder them. Because we are vampires. And we murder them by sucking their blood. So, enemy killed. We get a fireball spell. Lovely. Hessian is vulnerable to attack, Dark Lord. Seize it from the enemy to open a new front to the north. Okay. So, Eshen is where we're going next. I feel we should... You see, this is where I disagree with what they're asking us to do. I kind of feel that we should siege the castle. I mean, they have a tiny army defending. They don't have many. And the garrison isn't massive. If you build up, mind you, by the time you build up the force, they'll rebuild theirs. So, Eshen's where we're going. Okay, that's it for episode one, guys. So, we've been introduced to Manfred von Karstein um, and have started our war with the Tempelhof vampires um, threats on the other side include the dwarves and the Swash and Scharfhafen um, vampires although we could befriend them possibly Manfred won his first battle and we're now being asked to go and take Eshen. So, next time we'll be sieging Eshen. And uh, hopefully the game's going to open up a little bit more. If you enjoy the video, please do leave a like. Comment or subscribe would be great. Um, do check out the rest of the channel. There's plenty more content going up throughout the week. And I'll see you in a couple of days for the next episode of Twin Plays Total Warhammer. Almost said Total War Warhammer, but didn't. Just about got away with it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.